Falco, a Trinity member, about her journey of faith. Tell us about your earliest memories of your faith journey. When I was young, I mean, I can remember my mother reading us Bible stories and telling us about God. Um, and she taught us how to say our prayers before we went to bed. Um, it was an interfaith marriage. My father was Catholic, my mom was Methodist. And we didn't go to a steady church. Plus, we did move around a lot, too. So we might go here or there, but we never went steady. And did that continue, or did you kind of fall away? Um, I kind of fell away when I had gotten married the first time around. I had gotten divorced. I was a single mom with three kids. And I had gone to a parent-teacher's conference, and a teacher had invited me to church for Christmas Eve service. And that's how I came back into the church and to be... I don't know, try to be closer with God. I, I felt empty. I didn't know what was missing, but I wasn't happy. And I figured that was where I could start my search. So it was just someone inviting you to Christmas Eve worship that got you back? That simple. And I brought along my parents with me too. And then you had a family crisis a while ago. Tell us how God fit into that. Um, in 2010, um, we suffered a very, very heartbreaking loss and I was very angry with God <laughs> and I think for a good solid week at least after this loss happened because it truly broke my heart I just spent most of my days when my husband was at work yelling at God <laughs> um, I, I didn't understand why I thought maybe I had done something wrong or I wasn't doing something right and that maybe he was punishing me and I I did. I yelled at him and I got it all out of my system. But by doing that, I felt like I got closer to him. And then there was a spiritual breakthrough moment? Actually, two times. There was a sermon here at church that had made me feel closer and made me feel that God wasn't mad at me. And then one time I was watching um, religious programming on television and the speaker was saying, you know, if you have fallen away or you feel you need to be closer, and I just fell down on my knees and I said, yes, I want to. And since then, I feel like when I pray, God hears my prayers, and I feel like God talks to me and tells me and puts things in my heart. And your relationship with God right now? I think my relationship is good. Not perfect, but good. I take him everywhere I go. I talk to him in my car. If I'm having a, a tough moment, I'll say to him, you know, let me keep my mouth closed or give me strength or, and he, he does. And how about your life of service to God now? Um, my service actually has increased, but my service fills me with joy and it gives me more than I feel like I'm giving them. Like when I do the lay visitation, um, you get close to these people and their spiritual strength strengthens me. It helps me and it makes me feel so very good. And in summary, reflecting on your journey of faith, what word of encouragement would you give to other people on their journey? Don't feel like when you're praying or when you're talking to God that he's not listening because he is. And sometimes when we are broken or hurt inside and we get to that moment, that's when we open up and we can feel him because we're vulnerable and we do open ourselves to him.